my name is sagar vemula today i will uh, give a quick walk through around waymaker studio in this video so this is the login page uh, where we will uh, enter our credentials to log in into waymaker studio once we uh, log in on to the studio this is the dashboard which we will be seeing here we will see a list of all the applications uh, which we have created and uh, which we are part of and uh, we have second section where we have prefabs these are the reusable uh, components which we use in multiple applications and uh, we have template section uh, where we can see all the templates which we have created uh, to use in other applications and at the right side if we see we have tutorials and uh, we have activity as well here we can uh, see uh, the activity uh, that happened around the projects which we are part of and uh, uh, which we have collaborated with basically if someone commits a changes in the project which you are working with so you'll see those kind of updates if someone uh, gets hacked to the project and someone leaves the project and uh, so on so we will see all those updates over here and uh, coming to the app section we can create the applications from here on click on create we can choose either web application or mobile application once we create an application uh, we'll land on to the application uh, studio mode so let me open an existing application to walk you all through that so this is the view which we'll see once we open an application mm -hmm. and uh, if you see in the center we have canvas where we uh, do development in uh, visvik approach so at the right hand side if you see we have a list of all the widgets which platform is offering around 100 plus widgets we can find it out over here we can search for the widgets and we can drag and drop the widgets and uh, build our uh, ui so let us uh, come to uh, each and every section over here and see what we can have so in the pages section we will see all the list of pages which your application has and partials as well and you can click on any page and you can navigate to that appropriate page over here and next we have databases section where we can uh, connect to an existing database or we can create a database or we can upload sql files and create the database so when we click on create database we see options where we can connect to the database of our choice over here once we select the database we just give the database uh, details and connect to that particular database so once we connect to a database so we see this is hrdb which i have already connected to uh, we will see settings tab where uh, you can choose uh, and configure the settings of database for example there is host uh, details which you wanted to provide and all uh, you will see that over here since this is a local uh, mariadb you are not seeing that but in case you have a, any external database in another server you have connected to you can find it over here next we have design tab where we see uh, our database schema over here all the tables and their uh, uh, relationships and all we can see it over here you can uh, manage your uh, schema from here as well basically you can create the tables and uh, you can save those changes what waymaker does is it generates all uh, ddl statements over here and executes on your database so we see the table has got created over here and uh, we can write a queries as well over here on the database and if there are any stored processes we can call those stored processes as well over here uh, we can connect to multiple database in one uh, an application so what happens when we connect to uh, a database in an application waymaker creates apis for those uh, data uh, database tables for example if you see a department table over here so it generates all crud apis over here and uh, all mostly used apis like count apis 
and uh, get by uh, a primary key if there is existing primary key on the table so you can test these APIs here only and uh, if you see the response these are paginated APIs not only for the tables if you have any queries written over here so even for those queries we make a generate the APIs you can see test those APIs over here and next we have web services section where we can uh, import individual endpoints so we offer uh, the default uh, integration with uh, rest soap and websocket apis you can choose your source and you can test it and you can import that particular api and uh, we have java services section basically we write our own java code over here right so this is a sample method which platform has generated so for all the public methods you write vmaker generates apis for that if you see in java services so sample operation vmaker has generated this api and uh, we have file explorer section over here where we see the total source code of the project and uh, if you observe each and every folder over here this is uh, this is i18n folder where we see all language bundle related uh, files over here and we have a lib folder where we have all uh, uh, external libraries uh, which we have imported into the project all the jar files we can find it over here and we have profiles so basically the project which we are generating is maven compliant project so we see all the uh, property files over here in the profiles and we have services folder where all the generated code for the services resides over here for example we have imported hrdb platform has generated all the code over here we can see the generated code over here all the pojo classes controllers for the code or the APIs which we have interacted with right we can see all those uh, here and we have log section where we can see uh, all the logs of the application whether it can be the server logs of uh, your workspace or else when we preview this application uh, those logs can be found over here you can download these logs and uh, uh, debug over your application and we have more options over here uh, the update source basically the project source code if you wanted to update enter your source code you can use this option and we have frequently uh, used files like app.js and uh, app.css over here for a quick access and uh, when we come on to the canvas we see uh, all the widgets over here so what we have used to build this ui for example if i pick a widget this label right hand side at the properties panel you will see all the options related to this particular widget so this is contextual you will see uh, all the configurations related to the widget which you select for example if i select this widget switch the options will populate it according to this particular widget and uh, you have style, style step where you can write uh, the inline styles or if you have any uh, css classes in your theme or your app.css or anywhere you can bring in those classes or else if you wanted to add any bootstrap class over here you could do that one as well over here if you observe things get reflected over here and we have event step where all the uh, events that happen on the ui right when i click when i click on this particular label or a switch when i double click it or uh, if we uh, hover on it so you can choose what events to happen you have all the hooks over here for example on click event right so you can uh, navigate the user to next page or you can call an api or you can write some javascript code over here right you can do all those things and uh, we have display settings over here where we can choose 
on which device you wanted to show this particular widget and all and uh, we have security tab uh, I will uh, talk about the security tab later and uh, when we come on to the widgets right so if you see this widget you wanted to know the position of this widget where exactly it is in part of canvas right so you can observe this here at the bottom on the breadcrumb this label is inside a, a column grid column and which is inside a grid low and uh, the total uh, structure tree structure you can uh, view over here if not here as a breadcrumb you can see the total page structure over here so you can pick any widget let's get highlighted over here on the UI and you can search for any widget as well here and uh, you'll see whatever uh, in the canvas in the markup as well once you get uh, comfortable with the uh, waymaker markup you can find appropriate widget over here and you can edit them as well in any case and in the third tab you have already seen uh, any JavaScript associated with this page it's over here and uh, if you wanted to write any page level styling we can write it over here yeah so not only uh, you use widgets which are provided by waymaker to build your ui we have uh, the prefabs the reusable components which i was talking right so you can find all those uh, prefabs over here and you can interact with these prefabs just like the way you uh, interact with the widgets you just simply drag and drop them and uh, use it them to build the UI and uh, we have variable section here and here as well where we can see all the variables that are part of your page and your applications so these variables will help you to interact with uh, the APIs mostly and uh, we have uh, the preview option over here on click of preview we can quickly see the project got built and it's uh, ready to usable or available for us to access there we go and we can choose in which screen we wanted to view as well over here and we have deploy option basically when one click deploy option what happens is when you click on this deploy the application gets deployed on uh, the demo cloud uh, which will enable you for uh, your quick uh, development needs and uh, if you observe over here um, we can quickly access all the files which we have recently opened in the project for example we have opened uh, deployment.properties and a couple of files while exploring the file structure so we can find them over here and uh, we have opened this apply vacation page right so we can find quickly that page over here so this is pretty much useful for us and uh, we see job section while we are deploying the application or while we are building the war or any activity that happens right which is uh, running behind the scenes you can find it over here in the jobs part and uh, we have artifact section where we have category of artifacts uh, from where you can manage here so for example uh, what theme you are using and uh, what prefabs you are using you can find all those over here and manage them and we have security section where we see different uh, configurations uh, to have our app secured and safeguards we have all the configurations to protect our app against top 10 OS vulnerabilities and we have authentication and authorization where we can uh, choose the provider the security provider of the application the database or LDAP or custom security or uh, open ID SAML uh, all the providers which we mostly use so depending upon the uh, provider which we select the configurations get changed over here and in login configuration as well we find all the settings which we can customize and in app rules we will define all the application rules which we are using in the application and using those rules we can enable security over the application 
we can choose which page should be accessible by which user role so uh, to have authorization on and we have security services where we can choose which endpoints or which APIs group of APIs to be available for which user okay so HRDB related uh, APIs are authenticated and if we choose here department related APIs are to be available for admin and super admin we can configure that and uh, if you think create endpoint should be available for only super admin we can you know override that uh, permissions as well so we have a granular access over uh, all the APIs and we have prefab section here yeah, here in the prefabs also we can set the access level similar to that next uh, we have export option so where we can export the total project source code or we can generate a, the war file uh, depending upon the configuration profile which we choose and or we can uh, make this project as a shell and uh, we can publish it yeah we have those options in the export and next iit then if you want your application to have support for uh, uh, the localization right so we can have it over here you can add more languages to your application over here so those languages will be available for us to use in the application if you see whatever uh, the configurations which we are making over ui so underlying source code is getting updated accordingly if we observe here item folder so we got two more files created according to the settings what we have made okay and next we have configuration profiles like I was talking this is a maven based application you can choose to have your configuration profiles for the application and you can manage all those uh, uh, details over here for example in UAT you wanted to have different uh, uh, URL uh, or uh, different host for your DB you can configure those settings and uh, you wanted to have different host for your APIs depending upon the different environment and the security details as well security configurations also you could uh, manage them accordingly and uh, we have project settings which you can manage from over here and uh, once we come back and see the source code with the changes what we have done we can find the profiles getting added over here test and UIT yeah so that's all um, I've got for the studio walkthrough thank you